And here we go. The moment my mom has been waiting for. I'm going to suit up in armor. And last time we did this. Hello, Brian. Hello, Hi. Greg. Hi. Hi, it's guys. Both of us. Last time we did this, we talked about it. It was a little bit less than calm. It was late at night. Had an energy drink. Today, we're getting straight to it. No 28 minutes of banter. I'm going to just begin suiting up. So what's up, everyone? And to the one guy that's going to say, I thought Michael was buffer than that. Please, I don't need it again. I'm working on it. <laughs> that comment, I think, out of the most got me. He was like, oh, I, thought, I always thought Michael was buff. Just wait till you're suited. And when you're suited, suited, it's like, here. Wait. I'm, I'm pretty scared. Yeah, oh. don't, don't try, dude. Dang it. What are you talking about? <laughs> the buffest man alive. I've never seen the hey! All right, guys. I'm in the clone diaper. You know it well. If you've seen the other videos we've done, this is the base of what we suit up in. It is far from flattering, but this is where it all begins. Now, if you watched the Brian suit up, uh, you know how many pieces kind of make this up. Now, add more, because when you're a captain, you have these pesky holsters that have these metal bars that go down. Pesky? Two, dude, they are so pesky. And for a million different reasons, I'll explain <laughs> to you in a minute. When I first did this, this was my first build. Greg, you helped me through a lot of it. Yep. Um, some of the things I didn't do so well. Example, if you cut to, there you go. Whoop, there it is. You can actually see that screw, and I can see it right here. There's a screw that for three years has been digging into my comma <laughs> and then digging into my thighs. Have you ever thought of fixing it? No. Nope. <laughs> and unless you have someone like write a little note down, it's really hard to remember. Yeah. Because it's like a little thing on the forearm. Yep. Oh, I got to fix this. And then you, you take it off. By the time you take it off, you're like, oh, get this thing off me. And you All forget right. about it. So I've got the belt on under. And we've talked about the belt. So the belt is just a utility belt. Uh, it's got a piece of Velcro of it, of affixed to the front like this. Then has these two straps coming down. And these straps are going to grab onto the thighs so that it doesn't fall. Now. I have a ton of padding in mine, just like Brian has in his, because we have, I guess we have little skinnier legs, and so... Well, I think it's before, too, you knew how to, like, fit it to you, whereas your second kit, you made you made a little bit more fit. Yeah, so I didn't cut this kit down, I built it as it was out of the box, um, which means that normally when I'm walking around, this thing can flop everywhere, uh, but instead, I have placed foam, and now it sits, and this is, we just use standard... Foam you get at Michael's, just like the uh, upholstery foam. Upholstery foam. And I push it up knowing that it'll drop down a little bit. And what's important is if you cut to the wide, you'll see you want this black space here to be symmetrical. So often I see yep. people suiting up. Four inches here, two inches here. It's just, it's not a great look. So as symmetrical as possible, yeah. it's going to add a lot to what you're doing. The commas are just hand sewn. Um, my mom. Yeah. Thanks, funny, mom. Dude. A, lot of, a lot of people who get their kits... Uh, their their captain's kit's done. They're like, yeah, my mom sewed it. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Dude. It works. Whatever works, Clone dude. Moms. Mom, can you sew my costume for me? Same as before. You have your clamshell leg. So we bondo one side completely, and then you Velcro the other side. Use white Velcro. Don't use black, because in every picture, ultimately, there's always a little bit showing, and even if it's not, if you shoot through the front, you can just kind of see darkness. Use white Velcro all over the suit. Why wouldn't you? I use black. Oh, that's why I use black. <laughs> Every time we talk about Bondo, too, we usually get comments, um, I do on Instagram, that there is another product called Evercoat, I believe yeah. it's called. It's any body, any quality body filler. Uh, 3M Bondo is the most famous because it's the retail one. You find it at Home Depot, Lowe's. Evercoat is one you find that's more automotive-based, so you can find that at... Um, I usually get it on Amazon. Evercoat's a good one. Evercoat is a good brand. But it's like flexible. It's yeah. like a flexible there's, Bondo. So it's so. made, it's actually there's one that is suited more for um, plastic. It's actually meant for plastic. So it kind of bends with the plastic. So I recommend that. Well, let me tell you why you want that. Yep. You get a lot of flexing. So when you open it up, you, uh, with, if you Bondo and seal it, the plastic becomes firm. And obviously when you try to open it up to put your arm in it, it, cracks it flexes and it and it snaps uh the plastic comes obviously un you know unattached and it just looks like a hot mess which you can see i think brian did what did you do brian did you do the uh foam insert or no yes so underneath this compad is get, a piece of foam and it's actually get closer so they actually this, see the difference this compad. 
So yeah. the compad, so if you look, you can see Brian's isn't isn't uh it isn't flush completely. It's close enough though, and on the inside of it is uh just like foam, any type of foam, anything you can do. So you glue the foam to the to the base form instead of trying to make it seamless. This way when you open it, you open to put your arm in it, the foam will flex with it no problem and it won't crack any plastic or glue. Uh, little tips that we're going to be talking about here. I think with Brian, it was more general how you do it. This yeah. is little tips. So example, these neck seals, we talked about this last time. It's from Imperial Surplus. This whole kit is Imperial Surplus, imperialsurplus.com. Uh, these neck seals for my neck were too big. And I realized that when I put my helmet on, it would catch and like flare out. And it's just little details. So all I did was I hand sewed this small part. Like that, just kind of pinched it together. Yeah, just sewed it, it, sealed it up. And man, that has created a world of difference. So watch when I put this on, how snug it is. And I can actually do... Mike's really cool. He can do it all himself. He yeah. Need help. And in case you haven't watched the video, so we got to make sure we clarify if they haven't watched the video. So this is a, it's a two, kind of a two-in-one. So it has the neck seal. So it kind of covers your neck up so you don't have exposed skin with the helmet. kind of keeps the immersion there. As well as the shoulder straps. So it holds on to your, your bicep armor. It holds it up. As well as keeps the, you can attach, you'll see in a moment, we're gonna attach the biceps onto that strap right there as well. Uh, the front little pouch, it kind of holds a battery, it holds a speaker, and some people hold throw their keys in there. Mike and Ike's. Holds candy, food, little snacks. Keep you ready for your yeah. costume adventure. You see how snug it is around my neck? Yeah, it's, very, it's actually pretty good snug. I have a thicker neck, so mine doesn't sit. You're a skinny boy. Well, it's like customizing it to what you're doing. So we're talking about that. And what I did on these biceps, which since I've been working out a little bit, um, it's actually like it's really the most snug it's been, which it's looking pretty tight, I'm kind dude. of excited about. So what we were talking <laughs> about in the last episode is uh, there's normally a lot of movement in these clones because they're huge when you put them together. They're, yeah. they're one size fits all. And what's important is is cutting it down, making it unique, making it yours, and customizing it to a T. So, you know, you're gonna customize the weathering, you might as well customize the sizing. Something I always do on mine, which you'll notice a few times, is there's three scratches together, and this is a way you can kind of identify yeah. if people are wearing armor, like, oh, well, that's Rexing around. Uh, all my armor pieces, my shoulder, my, little custom, um, little... there's like three scratches, because like, what if I got in a little fight with a cat? Yeah. I like it. So, you make it your own. Now, obviously, you can tell this is three years old and the paint has completely weathered off. Uh, repainting is definitely an option. Weathering, though, it's just kind of part of it. Ab plate, we talked about this last time. So this is, this comes as two pieces. You get the front and you get the back. So what you do is you bondo these together, super glue them. There we go. Yeah. Bondo, super glue, and then what you're gonna do, which just seems counterintuitive, is you just cut right down the middle of the back so it splits open. You put Velcro on each side and then you have this little cover piece and that's gonna make it seamless so that it looks just like it does in the show. And remember that Velcro piece I have on my belt? Well, that's gonna connect to the middle in the front of this ab plate. And that so does, what see. that does is it keeps the ab plate from riding up. As you move around, you raise your arms. If you don't have something keeping the ab plate in place, it'll float up, up into your chest and you'll have this exposed, uh, like belly, like you're, you know, you're trying to be the next, you know, belly dancer person. Um, belly dancer. There's yeah, so many people. Like the Britney Spears. I yeah. Could before I before I added that strap, Charlie in my, my, my ab kept popping up, yeah. and yeah. Greg would just Roast. every picture I took, dude, fix that, dude, fix, fix, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. It's these little things, and it's like little tips that you can do. It just makes it. It's just it's attention to detail, and that's what makes it great. And yeah, again, that little that little piece of. That strap kind of holds it in place. So the shoes are another thing we talk about, and I'll go ahead and lift my foot up here in a minute. Um, these just, are... Dude, you might want to just get new ones. These are That's aged. Cool. These are Don't so old. Uh, there's like a pl plastic piece. Imperial Surplus gives you, you put it on, piece of leather. It's super easy. They're just non-slip shoes. Um, Nursing shoes. They're quite comfortable. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, you're going to need... The more you wear it, the more you wear it down. So... How's this uh, symmetrically looking? I feel like I'm getting some gappage. All right, we're fine. We're moving forward. Yeah. Gloves. You can just get these tactical gloves on Amazon. 
Uh, super cheap. Just type in black uh, leather cotton blend glove. No, is it black? No, no max gloves. No max. No max, no max gloves are nice. Is. You can get the long ones, which is nice because it gets up, gets way up under your forearm. That's I got I've these got. short ones um, that work good too. Just depends on how your undersuit fits. And it's <laughs> and if you record TikToks, you can cut the fingertip off of it. <laughs> <laughs> or you get touch. Ah, uh, I've been exposed. I have touch screen. Ones. After what a yeah, month yeah, of yeah. wearing them, the touch screen yeah. wears off. So yeah, uh, dude, I just. I own it. They've got to be on my phone for so many different reasons. Even if I'm not TikToking, if I'm at a convention, or you yeah, know, if I'm you, just shooting up. Your phone? I don't put my phone on me, but there's a lot of people who put them in these, in these boxes oh, right here, or the holsters. There's yeah. some room in the holsters sometimes. Um, there's a lot of places you can put your phone. Where do you put just your phone? Just curious. I usually don't have one. Okay. I have a pouch that I don't have on this kit yet. So. Next step. This is the difference. Now, this is going to be the big difference in the one uh, we yep. reported Brian's. Uh, we pointed out the shoulder straps in regards to the gluing them as one solid piece in comparison to gluing, uh, just gluing the backside and Velcroing the front chest piece. I'm so ashamed. Um, yeah, I got you on the side view. This is just... bad. So what you see here is dozens of repairs so at one point i had plastic abs that i put in here and i re-glued that snapped um and i suit up pretty fast i don't take yeah. much care in what i you, do you abuse the, the, yeah, the costume i yeah. do um and so you can see all the black gaffers tape that's repaired the the different parts um the reason why i like gaffers tape here is it has some flex in it so it does allow me to really pull this over now but check out the captain vaughn suit up video we did uh you're gonna see a way better way to do this so, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go cut in close to watch the struggle. I don't know, man. He throws this thing off. Yeah, but you can see like the you can see the plastic where it bends normally if you didn't have the gaffer's tape. Where I always had a hard difficult. time getting those over my head. Like yeah, like that. I mean that's you can see how difficult that was, especially he's again he's got a little more flex in the uh, the shoulders because of the tape, so it's not really attached. It's terrible um, without with yeah just having it separate because my other kit has separate and it is a game changer you guys like if you're building a suit of armor separate the chest in the back yeah it's gonna save you such a headache it's gonna save you so many cracks and it's just pop it on pop it off good to go whenever i mean uh, the nice thing about uh the imperial surplus kits is they're they're pretty easy to put together i mean yeah. it's they're self-explanatory he's got tabs and everything that line up but don't easy. be afraid e yeah easy but don't be afraid to to customize it to fit yeah. yourself this um, What's that? No, I was just saying, it's like a lot of things that you're customizing in regards. Uh, don't be scared because it's like, it's plastic. You can fix it with glue. Yeah. You can fix it with uh, the body filler, either, you know, whatever brand you use. A lot of things can be adjusted and, and altered to still look good. Yes. And you can use and abuse it, repair it. I mean, this thing has been, I've probably worn it 150 times. Yeah. Like easy. Um, okay. So the, the pauldron, it's obviously one of his most um, Identifier. pronounced identifiers. Uh, Everybody was like, you're going to drill a hole in it after season seven? I was like, nah. <laughs> but what I did on mine, which I've seen a couple other Rexes do since then, is I wanted to be able to remove the pauldrons in any case. It's just a huge piece, and I was worried about damaging it or breaking it. I also wanted to have the ability to change out colors back when I was doing 501st stuff. Yeah. We did a cancer troop. I put pink here. So these are actually all Velcro. And you can take these off and change the colors out, repair them weather them, whatever you want to do. And it also adds just way more depth, uh, depth to it. Yes, look at that, dude. We're, ner we're nerding out a little on it, but it's the little <laughs> yeah. things on anim animated armor when you can add a, another level to it. Um, it's such a flat, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the details are a lot, a lot of flat. Uh, so adding that dimension uh, to it kind of gives, again, like you said, depth and character to it. And another way to identify if it is me, I'm the only animated Rex with a leather pauldron so i took the measurements of the pauldron that's included which is normally just a plastic box and oh. i created out of uh little foam blocks and i wrapped leather i didn't know that mike yeah well currently he's only like he's only we've seen there's somebody that used like legitimate like leather pouches from like uh like a sand trooper or something. yeah like one yeah. of those is that an animated one yeah because the realistic you got it oh he used a whole leather. i think he tried to use a whole leather pauldron and it just didn't oh work. yeah it's really whoa. flat yeah i know what you're talking about no this is uh i i like the pauldron this way I wouldn't try to customize this, do this differently. The Imperial Surplus does an amazing job at this. Yeah. But this is just a cool little detail that it it does honestly help you stand out. When there's a whole fleet of clones that are the same character as you, having something that makes you kind of different to spot in the photos, but not different enough yeah. to make it seem like it's non-canon. Attention detail. 
in, in any regard, even deciding your own little detail to uh, make it, you take your hat off. Yeah, I got bad hat yeah. hair. <laughs> so I've got Velcro strips here. You want to put your shoulders on? Uh, yeah. You don't need those. So it just sits right on there, and it's totally Velcroed down. So I can move. I mean, we know you can move. Oh, We've I run. Seen the dances. I'll full yeah. sprint, dude. I will full sprint. Um, and then yeah, the shoulders. So. I mentioned the little three stripes before. I normally like to put the one with the three stripes on the side that you can see. So Brian, if you will, make sure that lip just barely Which is kisses good because uh, one thing you want to add is um, the variety. You notice he doesn't put the three stripes on the same side as the bicep with three stripes. Then it would just look weird. Are the both, both biceps with three stripes? No, it's one side slash. Oh, okay, yeah. So this bicep has three stripes. So having the three stripes on the same side, I mean, he's not sponsored by Adidas or anything. So it's good. It's not like it's not some, just symmetrical. It's, it's I mean, right? I don't need to anymore. But I put an R and an L. Yeah. So I know which one. So a lot of people right. do that. R and L. Right, right and left. Left. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't I need you now though, because I've got an yeah, antenna. Yeah. Gotcha. So again, clamshell pieces like the rest with Velcro. And like I said before, using white really helps because when you're taking photos or you're being seen, you know, any little bit of black you can kind of notice and it just brings it to the next level, uh, having that white. And I think people too, like I always try to stress to people, you know, uh, I, I see people when they're building their kits, they're extra meticulous, which is cool. Like be meticulous, you know, if you do, you know, measure three times, cut once, because if you do mess up, you can fix it, it's a pain, but you can fix it. But it is, it is hard to add material, it's easier to remove material. But at the end of the day, like especially with these characters, there's a lot of weathering involved. You know, a tiny little imperfection, you're really not gonna notice it in the long run. So don't stress yourself out about it. It's, I guess, what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, absolutely. Brian, do you wanna show them your hand strapping system? So Brian's, it's just a small detail, but uh, Brian's got some straps here that allow him to just slot it on and off. Whereas I always go for Velcro, and it's the one time the black actually paid off, was that way. So he doesn't have a strap. Depends on what you like. Reasons, yeah, depends. I know when I did it, um, I didn't really know how to attach the Velcro to the fabric of the glove, the ones I was using. So that's why I did the, I did the wristband or the wrist little thing. Super glue. Yeah, but yeah, but then you, uh, I had thinner gloves. That's why. I've had Stormtrooper uh, hand plates where I've glued them on. Yeah. And finally, the helmet. Let me talk a little bit about the helmet. So Rex is obviously phase one and phase two welded together. A lot of people are still discovering that these blue lines are actually weld marks where he took a phase one visor, chopped it into a phase two. A little bit of a character, uh, what would you call that? Like a, a character plot? Like uh, it basically told us a little bit about who he was. He was a little rebellious, kind of went his own way. Um, and then he's got the rangefinder, which, you know, after three years of trooping, parades, videos, it becomes very weak. It's just a hollow aluminum tube. Um, at, at one point I had zip ties and, you know, people always like to comment on the zip ties. Um, they're gone now. They've been gone. Uh, but there is a, I couldn't find anything better. So there's a drill bit that sits inside of here that mounts in here and then goes up the side of the, or up the inside of the, uh, antenna and that just gives it i mean this thing is not going anywhere there's now. a drill bit in there there's a drill bit, and the thing is, a drill bit in there, dude. this top Perfect. is heavy this is yeah, resin yeah, cast yeah. Yep. so it's like a beefy part on an, a hollow aluminum pole and i know a lot of people have trouble no it doesn't move anymore it did at one point but now it just becomes such a hassle um that it's not worth it i use cycling helmet padding it is premium comfort so if you do helmets or you order helmets uh, on Amazon, and we'll put the link below. Uh, there's these $28 cycling pads that just they're like memory foam They're so snug you want to feel luxurious in your clone trooper helmet. You get one of those I have a square piece of upholstery. That's it. <laughs> Very different. I'm, I'm way yeah. more. I mean, it also depends on head size Depending on head it's size. Uh, I need less padding. I got a big dome compared to you. Did you? paint your seams on your elbows Oh yeah, dude. I didn't paint. Um, but after yeah. season seven came out, I liked that little bit of depth there. So I just took black gaffers tape. They do it on my knees too. No, I, I got yeah. I got I got distracted halfway through. <laughs> so like, in new. season seven, they have like um separated elbows and knees. And so I put a little bit of uh, black gaffers tape there. What do you guys think? Do you hate it? 
No, it looks good. I noticed that too, and I thought maybe you took a sharpie or it, something. Yeah, that's but what I was like, it's got a matte it? look to it. It's so. nice, right? It's just a little. It's a little tiny baby uh, thing. I might have to take that idea. Again, attention to detail. Yeah, it's no, a good great. idea. To watch. My I thought trooper. I was gonna get roasted. My shock trooper might need that next. I thought I was gonna get roasted, Captain. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Wow. Honestly, like you guys can say whatever you want about me now. <laughs> my boy said I did something right. All right. So finally, helmet goes on. Woo! My flowing locks. And that's a good looking boy. It's a uh, captain or sir. Captain or sir. I mean, captain. Actually, captain. in commander. your case, it's captain. commander. When I'm with you, I'm commander. I mean, it, you it's on? captain. It's Put it captain on. Von. Yeah, I'm commander. He's oh, commander. Oh, that's right. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> Get I thought you didn't you. want to be commander. Look at Did that. you watch the episode? Look at those boys. I didn't watch the Clone Wars. What? What a hype man. Look at those, look at those guys. Right? Side. Side. I just hit you with my Side. antenna. Side. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Go back to Greg. <laughs> uh, yeah. Side shot. I don't want to hit the plant. Wide shot. The plant down here. Greg shot. Front shot. <laughs> I don't have a gun. No weapon. Finger, finger guns. Trigger discipline. Pew, pew, pew. All right. That's Captain Rex. Hold on. You want to do an outro? I do a standard. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching the rest of the <laughs> Please. You'll oh. get there. You'll get there. Uh, Keep it on. Order 66. It's time. we got to go. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you liked what we did. We have a lot of suit up videos. Mandalorians, clones. The whole lot of them. If you're new to this channel, we do a weekly podcast. Um, we love it. It's our passion project. It's kind of the most important thing to us. So if you like Star Wars, you like us, check us out. We do a weekly podcast. We're on TikTok. We're on Instagram. Rex and around. Everything we uh, in the bio. Link below's. Yes, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and until next time. If things. Yeah.